I'm gonna wait a little bit for all the oil to drain from the oil pan. I'm gonna remove the oil pan, I'm gonna remove all the bolts around the lower crankcase part and I'm gonna disassemble the engine block. And I just remove the oil pan and this our this our parts from our broken piston. Just look at this. I'm gonna put them here. This is one and this is one piston ring, the compression ring. This is our oil ring. A broken parts from our piston this is the piston head this is the group for the piston ring this is another part here it's another part of the piston so now we're gonna remove the oil filter all the bolts around the lower crankcase and we're gonna Remove it from the engine. And this is our oil pickup tube. The pickup tube looks good. As you can see the the crankshaft is broken in pieces too. And this is our broken piston rod and these are the parts from our crankshaft. The block is broken. I am assuming this is what broke down. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you can see it right there. There is the one bolt from the piston road cap. Uh, yeah, this is our piston that was broken. And I think the problem was actually, just look at this, the, the piston road cap is damaged. Interesting, it broke down after it came out of a crankshaft, or it broke down, the bolt came out, it got loose and <laughs> fell off a crankshaft. What do you think? This is the second bolt from our piston road cap. Let's 
so here is one bolt of a piston road cap the second bolt the thread is damaged for me it feels like it, they got loose the piston road got loose and was playing up and down because of the free play hitting the crankshaft and one moment it just broke down and fell off the crankshaft and the engine got stuck actually looks like it was overheated as well there is some blue color on it here is another part of the piston this is like a puzzle I'm gonna put it back together <laughs> Let me show you what I found. I want to take a look at the piston rod bearing. <laughs> this is how it looks, as you can see. Yeah, it had a lot of free play. Look how big of a damage it has. Yeah, I'm sure the cap get loose. It started to damage the the road bearings it started to have a lot of free play and was just playing up and down until it damaged it i don't see an, the second one <laughs> oh, there is more there are more parts actually now i'm gonna remove the piston road from the crankshaft and we'll see how the bearings look like. Here is what I found. The problem was in the piston road bearings. I will check the main crankshaft bearings too but we have a spun bearing here and we have a spun piston road bearing here as you can see there is a groove the groove those grooves should stay in this place so they're not spinning around freely but as you can see they probably were overheated they got stuck and they just started spinning so we have spun bearing here spun bearing here and now i'm gonna remove that one to see what's going on probably this is what happened to this one as well and it was overheated the most so this is why it break, broke down let's remove the rest of them i just removed the cap from the piston road number two and this one is good it doesn't have problem at all we're gonna check another side because most of the time the upper one is the one that got that gets the damage but this one looks really good it doesn't have problems at all as you can see so this is number two number one is damaged number four it's damaged as well so this one is good and as you can see the lower one the lower one is going down with the piston this means it is good too it's not stuck on the crankshaft yeah as you can see this is the damage on piston number one piston road bearing i'm gonna clean it so you'll see it better let's put it here and this, oh, uh, this is the bottom part the upper actually upper piston number one upper bearing lower piston road bearing okay up low now we're gonna try to remove this one i guess you can see this is the upper one it has also a lot of scratches so now i'm gonna remove the lower one the lower one as you can see it has a one big scratch look like something got stuck under it 
I'm gonna put it here for now. Yeah, you can see there are a lot of metal shavings coming from the main journal. And as you can see inside, this is the channel from where the whale is coming as, and lubricating the bearing. So there is a lot of metal shavings. And here, here looks a little bit cleaner. We're gonna check that one as well. And the crankshaft still not spinning, so it means our main bearings probably were overheated as well. So we can remove the main bearing caps. This is our main road bearing cap number one, and they have arrow pointed toward toward the crankshaft pulley, and it has a number on it: number one, number two, number three, the middle one, number four, and here it's number five. This is our crankshaft bearing cap number two. It also has some scratches, but the bearing is in its place. This is number three. As you can see, nothing like I don't see any big, big scratches, just a few small ones. And as you can see, it's already spinning now. This is cap number three. The bearing is in its place. It also has some scratches. And this is our cap number five. It still doesn't look so bad. And this is our piston road. As you can see, both bolts broke down. <laughs> and this is our piston road. And as you can see, both bolts got broken. The thread is still inside. So most probably they got loose, they started to play up and down on, on the crankshaft But when, when they are playing they are still making the knocking noise So the guy probably heard it and didn't pay attention to it And as you can see, wait, where is the broken part? Yeah, as you can see, this is the bottom part of it And this is one piston road bearing, just look how tiny it is It was almost completely destroy it. Now we finally can spin it. I'm gonna remove the bolts from the flex plate. So I'm gonna remove the flex plate together with the torque converter and I'm gonna put it back on the transmission. So when we're gonna install a new engine we're gonna just lower it straight down. We will not need to slide into the transmission. So let's remove the flex plate bolts.
flip switch. This is how the damage happened. The piston cap, the bolts broke down. It it fell off the crankshaft, went to the side like this, and the crankshaft, when it's spinning, it just like forced it to go through the block because it didn't have space. Probably it was spinning at high speed and just broke the block in cylinder number three. As you can see, if it gets stuck like this. There is no way for the crankshaft to spin, so it just forced it through the block. Now we're gonna remove the crankshaft. There is one half moon, the thrust bearings, here is the second thrust bearing, the thrust bearing look good and this one looks good as well. Interesting where is the second part, oh I see the, the second half of the piston road bearing and as you can see it's almost nothing left it was very tiny so i guess this is what happened mm -hmm. The main crankshaft bearings, all of them look good. But the piston bearings, two of them are spun, and the third one that was broken, it was very, very tiny. It was completely destroyed. And this is what we got after we disassembled the engine completely. That is piston number three. It is, this is the piston road number three. The piston road was overheated. It almost has blue color. The bolts were broken. The cap came out and the piston road got stuck between the crankshaft and the engine block and damaged the block and this is a piece of a crankshaft that was broken as well because of the piston road and here is the piston road bearing it's completely destroyed as you can see there is al almost a hole through it it was overheated and look look how tiny it is it's almost nothing left this is how it's supposed to be the number two it's in perfect condition the number one, it's a spun bearing. The pin is, is straightened and it started to spin around between the piston road and the crankshaft. And number four, it's also a spun bearing. It has a lot of scratches too. And as you can see, the pin that is supposed to hold it in place, it's bent as well. <laughs> number one, number two, number three, and number four.